Hello, my name is Raymond Antrobus. I am a poet. I am uh, a educator. I am a investigator of missing sounds. Um, I've written many a books for adults and for young people. And um, one of the books I've written for young people is called Can Bears Ski? Um, do you notice anything about the cover of this book? I wonder what the first thing you noticed is. Is it, is it the color? Is it the title? Is it the question? Can bear ski? Um, is it the things in the ears? Um, so I should say that this is a, uh, quite an autobiographical or a book, which just means a book which is based on my own experience growing up. Uh, I myself have these two things in my ears, just like our bear friend here um, growing up. Um, I, was, I was born deaf, I, didn't, I wasn't diagnosed as deaf until I was six years old. And so we know now we're gonna get a story about a journey of a young deaf bear. Can bears ski? Raymond Antrobus, that's me. Illustrated by Polly Dunbar. Polly Dunbar has done all of the pictures uh, and she is also deaf uh, and wears two hearing aids and she's from a, a deaf family. So she really understood I think the uh, emotional story that is in this book. It's been snowing, everything feels still. No rumbling, no trembling. It's like everything is breathing quietly. Then I feel Dad's voice. One, banisters shake. Two, pictures wobble. Three, stairs flinch. I'm coming, I'm coming, I say. I gobble, gobble breakfast. Dad Bear has a TV on. I can see a man in a, in a blue bodysuit skiing fast down a slope. Dad Bear is saying something to me. I think he says, can bear ski? I shrug. I'm not sure I heard him right. I eat the last of my porridge. Time for school. Dad Bear talks a lot on our way to school. I hear the crunch, crunch, crunch of the snow. Dad Bear stops and looks directly at me. Your friend was saying hello. Why did you ignore him? I didn't, I didn't. When Dad Bear asks again, can Bear ski? Is that really what he's asking me? I hope you enjoyed that. It was a fun and emotional joy, emotional journey, I should say, um, writing this book, Can Bear Ski. I hope that it invites anyone, whatever their experiences are, to, uh, to you know, write their own stories, share their stories, explore them with their friends, with their families, with their uh, reading and writing community. Um, you know, whether or not uh, you can relate to deafness, I hope that you enjoy the journey um, of the two bears figuring out how to communicate, how to speak, how to be understood by each other. Hi, I am Siobhan. I cannot hear. I use sign language to communicate. Did you notice me signing during the story? I am going to teach you a few words so next time you can sign along with me. The first word is dad. In Trinidad and Tobago, there are two ways to sign dad. In ASL, you use your dominant hand and bring the thumb to your forehead. Dad. 
dad. In TTSL, dad is done like this. Now you try, dad. Bear. Now you try, bear. This is gobble up. Gobble up. See how fast it goes? In sign language, you use your body and facial expressions to give meaning. Now you try. Gobble up. Let's try teacher. Teacher. Excellent. I don't know. And here's one more. Can you hear me? Let's try that one together. Can you hear me? That's all for today. I hope that you continue to practice sign language. Thank you. Goodbye.